Brenton, congratulations, National League Player of the Week, and you were on some kind of tear. I was reading something from Thomas Harding of MLB.com that said that you just want to be stubborn at the plate. Take me more through that approach. What do you mean by that? Yeah, I think it just goes before the game, you know, creating a good game plan you're going to uh, use to face the pitcher. Um, and, you know, being as stubborn as you can, getting the pitches where you want them and, and laying off everything else. What do you do when you're down 0-2 in the count and you're just trying to work your way back into a hitter's count? What do you go through mentally to get back in a, in a better count? Yeah, I think that's where, you know, it, it, it relies the biggest on your game plan, you know. Um, that's a big chase count, and um, you just got to do your best to really really lay off those uh, pitches out of the zone and, and stay stubborn to the, the pitches in the zone. And um, I feel like I've been doing a really good job of that lately. 2023, you get the gold glove as a rookie. It's the rare feat. A lot of rookies don't get that, uh, that hardware. How do you think your game has improved defensively from 2023 to this season, if it can't even improve defensively? Yeah, I mean, super amazing honor. Uh, I take a lot of pride in my defense, and uh, I, I love whenever I can save runs out there and make cool catches. And um, But, yeah, uh, you know, you can always work on, on stuff, and, uh, whether it's first step quickness or, or, you know, making your routes a little bit more efficient. I think uh, playing a course field for the majority of our games is, is a huge <laughs> advantage to me because the outfield's so big, and I, I, I truly believe it makes me a better outfielder when I come to these other parks, and, and it makes these other fields uh, kind of seem a lot smaller. So uh, it's, it's pretty fun. It's so funny, though, because when you think of course Field, you think about the ball flying out of the ballpark. But you're right. The outfield and the gaps there yeah. are ginormous. So, OK, you got to be in shape. you got to cover a lot of ground. Some would think that, man, as an outfielder, that's a disadvantage. But I like the fact you think it is an advantage. So when you go to the other parks, Brenton, do they feel small? Yeah. Um, I mean, right here is a good example. I think uh, the field here in Cincy and our outfield are, are two complete opposites. I feel like I can reach over and, and touch my fellow <laughs> outfielders sometimes. But uh, but yeah, I, I really do like to think of uh, cores being such a huge outfield as an advantage and not a disadvantage. And um, I feel like it definitely betters my game. What does it mean to you to be the first National League rookie to get a gold glove, <laughs> outfielder to get a gold glove? Super privileged. I mean, uh, I'll say it again. I take a lot of pride in, in my defense. And, um, you know, to win that award is like the holy grail. I was fortunate to win one in college and in the minor leagues, too. So uh, to win one in the major leagues is, is just icing on the cake. All right. So into the junior year, into your junior year of high school, you were kind of dreaming of a career in the military. At one point, you had committed to VMI. At what point yeah. in your career were you like, you know what, I'm going to give this baseball thing a shot? Yeah, so I ended up committing super early my junior year to Virginia Military Institute, and uh, I was really good at baseball, but I wasn't like, oh, uh, like I might be able to, you know, pursue my dream of becoming a major leaguer. So uh, as my junior year went on, my senior year went on, I, I progressed a lot on the field and, and started uh, bulking up a little bit. And uh, baseball, I wanted to really focus on it, and I, I just chose the right route for me was to uh, go to a school where I could focus more on baseball. Yeah, you went uh, to Shepherd University. It's a Division II school from oh, yeah. West Virginia. And Rockies farm director Zach Wilson said, you know, had Brenton gone to a school that some folks had heard of, he would have been a first-round draft pick. I mean, that's the type of, of tools that you have. But what do you think you learned from Shepherd University? Because nobody's path is the same, as you know. Nothing is linear. What did you think that experience gave you to, to help you succeed? That's right. I mean, I get asked all the time if I could go back during my recruiting process if I would have – uh, chose to go anywhere else, and honestly, I wouldn't have. I mean, I, I love being a Division II school product, and and uh, just gives those, you know, that hope to those kids that they don't need to go to that big SEC or ACC school to pursue those dreams. Yeah. And you know, there's there's some grittiness in D2 baseball, and I think uh, just coming to these nice parks and nice facilities, it, it just makes it even that much better. Yeah, let's talk about the club as a whole. I mean, that's a team. I grew up in Colorado, born and raised there. I, I followed the Rockies yeah. since they became. A team there uh, back in 1993. It's been a struggle for you guys this year. Let's be honest, 32 and 60, um, yeah. a 12 and 33 record on the road. But you got to think that things are going to get better, and and that's you know what you have to look forward to. I would imagine. What what should you tell us that gives us a reason to believe in this team, Brenton? Yeah, I mean we're all competitors in that clubhouse. We wouldn't be here otherwise, and. Um, 
even when we're losing, you know, we're, we're trying to build on the positives of the game. And uh, we're so close in the clubhouse that, you know, we're, we're always there to pick each other up. And um, I, I truly do believe things are going to turn around for us here soon. Yeah, no question about it. Um, you are the sixth player to record at least 15 hits, 11 extra base hits, six home runs, six walks, and one stolen base in an eight-game span. Please tell me, for someone that's never going to be able to do what you guys do, what that feels like when you're that locked in. Man, it's fun. Um, I'm pretty sure the other guys that have done that, too, are pretty good company. Uh, I saw the stat online the other day. But, um, yeah, it's fun. I mean, your confidence is just through the roof. You feel like you can, you can hit anything thrown at you. And, um, you know, with confidence, uh, you, you get some good results. And I'm just riding, riding the roller coaster right now. Yeah, Larry Walker, Reggie Jackson, Willie Mays, yeah. Lou Gehrig, Babe Ruth, Brenton Doyle. How about that? When you hear those names, I mean, that's got to make you feel pretty dang good. Yeah, I'm not sure how I snuck in there, but, you know, it's pretty cool <laughs> to be alongside those names. <laughs> when you were growing up, uh, who, did you look, who did you look up to? Who did you like in terms of this game? Who did you want to emulate your game after? Uh, so I grew up in Northern Virginia, so I always had either the Nationals or the Orioles on TV. And uh, center field wise, I really liked Adam Jones. I mean, he just he just plays the game the right way. Um, he just has fun out there, and that's that's all I try to do too.